so this is where we left off last time and in this video I wanted to cover what vectors are and how to use them exactly because last time we just had a look at how to use vectors from the drop map header but I will also cover a little bit of theory in the series so if we would have a coordinate system with our x-axis and our y-axis a vector would just be well, a vector with the first coordinate resembling the x-axis and the second value represents the direction in the y. So if we would go like in intersections right here, one, two, and so on, one, two, and so on, um, our vector a would be one to the right and two up and we would land here. And one thing about vectors is that they always are rooted in in the origin and they don't move from the origin by itself. The only exception we make is when we add two vectors together, then we start to draw the vector we add, we add to the first vector, like example here. Let's make A blue, A is blue and be yellow. Do it like that and then we would draw b from the start of a two in the x direction and three in y direction and if we would start from here two to the right three up would land us here something like that <laughs> i know uh, the drawing is not quite good and then our resulting vector would be this so this would be a this would be and this one would be our resulting vector let's call it C and we would also write vector A as 1 and 2 in mathematical notation and same applies for vector B would be 2 and 3 in mathematical notation what we want to do this time is to do adding of vectors and we also want to have like scalar multiplication if we would add a vector we can see the result is this vector and to do it mathematically we would just add each component with each other and the result c would then correspond to one plus two would be three and two plus five would be uh, two plus three would be five like that and then we would ha have our result and what we also want to do is to do subtraction like a minus b would be the same thing we would just subtract the single values from another so subtract um, two from one and would get minus one and three from two would be also minus one and that would be the result and the last thing we want to do is to do a scalar multiplication so things like five with which we would be our scalar and times a vector let's take vector a which would be one two and we do that by just um, taking the five and multiplying it by each separate value like that and our result would be five and ten like that and these are the operations we need for this video and i've also covered how i implemented them real quick uh, really quickly and um, this also applies for three dimensions because we also have a three-dimensional vector in drop map let's do a slightly more complicated calculation let's do something like two and this would be a three-dimensional vector plus five times minus one three and zero minus six times four one and three and then minus one 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 like that and we want to calculate that so let's see how we do that in using drop map first of all we want to um, already in insert mode okay so first of all we want to use our vector three and as we can see we have four vectors here so we also need to define four vectors here let's do vector a would be two one to vector 3 would be vector b i mean would be 3 and also 0 again 4 1 3 and our vector d would be just 1 
one and that. And now we can calculate our vector result. Three result would be two times a plus five times b minus six times d and minus d. Just like that. And we could already do it like that and compile and let's start it and there we have our result. Thank you.